defining who the teacher really is. John 14, 26. It says, But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things, and bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I have said unto you. The Holy Spirit is the teacher, no man. So are we the Holy Spirit? No, we are not. In fact, no man is the Holy Spirit. Only God is the teacher. The idea that man can teach spiritual things to all the men is a lie and a big trap, my friend. Teaching spiritual things are equal to revealing spiritual things. And only God can reveal spiritual things to a man. You might say, oh, but God uses man to teach others. Yes, he might or he might not. He might use a donkey. He might use uh, something else. You know, it doesn't matter. It's just God is the teacher and he does teach the way he wants. He is not bound to do anything a certain way. The true fact is that God is the spiritual teacher and not man. In Matthew 16, 17, it says, And Jesus answered and said unto him, Blessed art thou, Simon Barjona. For flesh and blood hath not revealed un unto thee, but my Father which is in heaven. And then in Isaiah 54, 13, it says, And all thy children shall be taught of the Lord, and great shall be the peace of thy children. Clearly it says that all thy children shall be taught of the Lord. You see, it doesn't say that all thy children shall be taught by the prophets or the teachers or whatever. Prophets and teachers are just the type of Jesus Christ. Christ is the teacher. The idea that man is the teacher was actually the lie that man believed in the garden from Satan. And that is how he became his son. John 8, 44, you are of your father the devil, and the loss of your father you will do. I mean, our fleshly, carnal nature belongs to the devil. We are his children by nature. The fleshly, carnal-minded man. Only when you get saved and you turn around, you're upside down, you turn back, you know, upside up, that you can see and hear the things from God. Otherwise, you know, you're... Uh, a child of the devil and you uh, will only hear what the devil wants to teach you because he is the, as an angel of light teaching the carnal man and that's why we see the world upside down because man is believing all these lies from Satan. In Isaiah 14 13 it says for thou hast said in thy heart I will ascend into heaven, I will exalt my throne above the stars, I will see also upon the mountain of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. Well, what are the stars of God? Revelation 1.20, the seven stars are the seven angels of the seven churches. Obviously, Satan will uh, wants to rise up above the stars of God. He wants to be their leader, their head, and he is their head. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation. Is Satan not sitting in the seat of God in the churches and in the hearts of men teaching? Second Thessalonians 2 4 says, so that he as God sits in the temple of God showing himself that he is God. And if you think that it's only speaking of Satan, let's read what God says of man. Ezekiel 28, 2. Son of man, say unto the prince of the hierarchy, Thus said the Lord God, Because thine heart is lifted up, and thou hast said, I am a God. I sit in the seat of God in the midst of the seeds, yet thou art a man, and not God. 
Though thou set thine heart as the heart of God, yet thou art a man and no God. God clearly says, we think we are gods and we have the ability to teach or to reveal things to other men, spiritual things that is. Because yeah, we can teach math or, or we can teach uh, science or whatever, but the spiritual things have to be spiritually discerned. And only if you got the Spirit of God, you can hear from Him and He can reveal things to you. And again, uh, if God reveals something to you, the natural man is going to say you're crazy. That's what people are saying. That, you know, people are saying that you, I am crazy because uh, uh, I'm saying God is the teacher and they accuse me of teaching. <laughs> well, obviously you're not learning from it, are you? In Genesis 3, 5, it says, And you shall be as gods knowing good and evil. And from whom did they learn that? They learned that from Satan. God has told us who was the teacher from the beginning, but we were not able to understand what he was saying to us because it was not the time yet. But now it's the time and he is telling us now that in Isaiah 31, he said, Whoa, to the rebellious children, said the Lord, that take counsel, but not of me, and that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit, that they might add sin to sin, that walk to go down into Egypt, and have not asked at my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh, and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. Therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame, and the trust in the shadow of Egypt your confusion, unto the children that are trusting in human teachers, that instead of asking God and, and taking counsel from God, they ask and take counsel from the human teachers. Let me take a look at that again. So, woe well, to the rebellious children, said the Lord, that take counsel, but not of me. How can you take counsel? but not of God in the spiritual things. By asking the human teachers what something means, you know, going to the teachers and asking them what something means. If God is telling you right now that He is the teacher, that no man can teach you, and you go to somebody else and ask if that is true, or you're taking counsel of a man and not of God, because God clearly says that He is the teacher. So if you can understand that, you will give glory to God for knowing or understanding spiritual things. You won't give glory to a man for teaching you. And that's why they walked down into Egypt and have not asked at my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh. Yeah, they get together in these fellowships or congregations and they, and they take their strength in the numbers and the uh, that most everybody believes things the way they they do, and it's because they are hearing from men and not from God. Therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame. It will be your shame when God uh, will manifest in his children, and when every eye shall sin, and you will bow your knees, but it will be too late. It will be too late because God has given us this time to think from it. I mean, he's been teaching us. He's been teaching us that he is a teacher and he is revealing things to us. And, and all these things that God is revealing to us, man is not able to grasp. They think we're crazy. And exactly just like when Jesus was on earth, he was teaching his people and they thought he was crazy. Because man cannot understand the things of God. Only God, the Holy Spirit, can reveal things to us, and when we when he does, we know for, for sure, for, for fact, 100%, 200%. Isaiah 39 says that this is a rebellious people, lying children, children that will not hear the law of the Lord, which says to the seers, see not, and to the prophets, 
prophesy not unto us right things, but speak unto us smooth things, prophesy deceit, get you out of the way, turn aside out of the path, cause the Holy One of Israel to cease from before us, cause the Holy One of Israel to cease from before us, that means we don't want to hear from God, Get him out of the way. Get the Holy Spirit out of the way. We want to hear from Pharaoh. We want to hear from men. God is the only one, the, the one they have an issue with for being their, their teacher, the Holy One of Israel. And for that, you know that what God says, he will do unto them. Next verse. Wherefore, thus said the Lord, the Holy One of Israel, because you despise this word, and trust in oppression and perverseness, and a state their own. Therefore, this iniquity shall be to you as a bridge ready to fall, swelling out in a high wall, whose breaking cometh suddenly at an instant. Just like that. Sudden destruction will come upon you. Yes, because you're not listening to what God says. He says that He is the teacher and not men. And don't even come back and say, oh, you're teaching, you're teaching. No. But the Lord is gracious and patient with his people so that none will perish, Isaiah 30, 18. And therefore will the Lord wait that he might be gracious unto you. And therefore will he be exalted that he might have mercy upon you. For the Lord is a God of judgment, Blessed are all they that wait for him. For the people shall dwell in Zion at Jerusalem. Thou shalt weep no more. He will be very gracious unto thee at the voice of thy cry. When he shall hear it, he will answer thee. Because the Lord has at this point some poor and afflicted people that will cry out to him and he will bring them into his breast. Zephaniah 3.12 I will also live in the midst of thee and afflicted and poor people, and they shall trust in the name of the Lord. They are being afflicted at this point, but eventually they will see their teachers, which is God, Elohim, who has been removed into a corner at this point by his people. But once they cry out to him, they will see who their real teachers are, Holy Spirit, Christ. Isaiah 30, 20, And though the Lord give you the bread of adversity, in the water of affliction, ye shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner any more, but thine eyes shall see thy teachers. Their eyes shall see their teachers, and will see that their teachers are not men, but God. Next verse, and thine ears shall hear the word behind thee, saying, This is the way, walk you in it, when you turn to the right hand, and when you turn to the left. When you hear that voice behind you, then you would know who the teacher is. So when you hear that voice behind you, that means it's God speaking through the Holy Spirit. When you hear that voice behind you, that doesn't mean you're hearing a command. That would be uh, a voice in front of you, but not a voice behind you. It means it's the Holy Spirit speaking, and He speaks inside of you, and He speaks in your heart, He speaks uh, behind you. You know, like a little voice that comes out when you hear it, and you know that something is, is true. Just like when Jesus asked Peter, he says, well, who do you think I am? Who do you say that I am? And he says, uh, you, thou art the Son of God, the Christ, the Redeemer, the Savior 